Hey, how's she going, boys? Mike here. Welcome back to Grampy's Workshop. So I'm glad you joined me today. Uh, how many people out there are interested in fixing their own small engines? Yeah, right. How many people out there are not really sure sometimes exactly what you're doing when you're fixing a small engine? Yeah, okay. How many people out there would like to see a small engine, you know, analyzed and dissected and... Uh, and inspected. How many people would like to see a small engine in all its parts and pieces uh, assembled on a table and then see that engine come back together and be put together and work? Uh, how many people are going to be watching this video? Oh just a minute now. I can't watch it. I'm going to make it. That's what this video is all about. It's probably going to be more than one video but uh, I have a, an old 3.5 horsepower, I think that's what it was rated at, 3.5 horsepower, Briggs & Stratton engine off a lawnmower. The engine wasn't that great, I think that's why it ended up in the junk heap. But I'm going to take this engine apart, well in fact I already did, I stripped it all apart last summer, and I'm going to try to examine each and every part to try to understand why it's there, what it purpose, uh, you know, why it operates the way it does, and see if I can get this engine completely back together and operational. So it might take more than one video, I'm thinking. <laughs> so come along and join me if you're interested. So this is what I'm starting with. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Some of them I recognize, like uh, there's the muffler. This is the flywheel. Oh yeah, I'd recognize that anywhere. And there's the pull cord. Oh yeah, this is going to be a piece of cake. <laughs> Let's see how we make out. I don't know where to start, but uh, we're going to get at her. So, uh, we're out in the shop today, continuing on uh, trying to get our little motor back together. And uh, I spent some time the other day cleaning up. I just took the, the, this is the sump off the bottom of the motor, just to clean this up. And I put it in my parts washer, the one that I made out of the uh, Coleman cooler. Uh, what I have in there for cleaner, it's, uh, it's spray 9 and it's probably diluted three to one with water, uh, three parts water, one part uh, spray nine. Uh, I don't know, it works good, don't get me wrong, but you gotta do a lot of scrubbing. It doesn't really destroy the grease, it sort of washes the grease away eventually. Uh, so anyways, I thought there must be a better way. So I tried a lot of different things. I tried some mechanical, like uh, buffing wheels, wire wheels, try to get this clean, tried uh, toothbrush, you know, scrape them in there. Uh, tried going at it just with the screwdriver and the cloth, but to get in around all the nooks and crannies from these cooling fins, uh, no, it wasn't working out the best for me. So anyway, what I thought was I, th there must be a better way. So what I did was, uh, I went to town the other day, and I found this jug of WD-40. It's a, it's a cleaner and a degreaser. And what I liked about this one was, it was uh, biodegradable. Uh, it's not corrosive, it's not petroleum based, it doesn't leave a film behind. So uh, I think these are the kind you know that they make them out of citric acid. So I don't know if this is going to work or not, but I thought rather than take all the cleaner out of my parts washer, because for the most part the parts washer works good with the spray 9 in it, I thought I'd just try a little test here to see how good this WD-40 is. So I have my tray, my, uh, I have a little tray here, and another one to catch when I wash that, catch the drip. So we're going to do a little test. We're going to put, oh, the other thing about this WD-40 is you use it direct, you don't dilute it. So I only have four liters here, well not even, I think 3.3 and 3 quarter liters, 3.78 I think it is. So I'm going to put a little bit of this in my tray, try to wash this part, see if it makes any kind of difference, and if it does work, then I'll change out the fluid in my parts washer and use the WD-40. So let's get at it and try this test. I'm going to start just by putting this directly in this pan. That should be enough to get started, I think. And once again, this is the WD-40 cleaner degreaser. Uh, here's a particularly dirty side right here. So we'll try that. So there's a couple of brushes here. I know this is pretty interesting, eh? Watching 
cleaning. So a lot of the dark that's on this is paint. Because they do paint them before they leave the factory. Well, I'm not amazed, <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go get a real dirty part. We'll try a real dirty part, see what happens. So here's the head, uh, and these fins, these cooling fins are painted, so I don't think I'm going to do much to get those any cleaner. But there's some uh, carbon and crud build up inside the cylinder here, like inside on the bottom side of the head. So I'm just going to try and clean that up. I'll put that in face down. This will be a good test day eh, to see if this corrodes or does it clean. Who knows? But we're going to try and find out. Like, I don't expect this to get sparkly clean like brand new right out of the factory but I would sure like to get it you know where your hands don't get dirty when you handle it <laughs> couldn't that be clean well, you know what I don't think I'm going to rush to the store to buy some more of this WD-40 stuff Get a little brush here. A little more aggressive. Try this brush. It's got metal bristles on it. So with the metal brush in this cleaner, it is cutting away somewhat at it. But I'm just going to tell you, if you're planning on cleaning, you know, your gear with it, set aside an afternoon because it's not going quick. Now there's some really dark spots right here, if you can see them. Let's see what we can do with those. Yeah, so that is taking it off. Yeah, look at that. Okay, do a little wipe down here and see what we come up with. You can see that that's caked on there and it's kind of chipping off with the screwdriver blade here. Alright now I've been cleaning this uh, little head here for a little bit of time so let's just talk about this WD-40 cleaner. I started off with the sump base. It was pretty clean to start with because I'd spent a couple hours on it the other day. Uh, this part here is still kind of dark but that's paint on there right? Uh, and the only way I think you can get paint off is with a solvent and I don't want to use a solvent on it. But you know it came pretty good this side. This is the only side I washed. Uh, but as far as I was concerned at that point this WD-40 in the spray 9 was probably about the same. Then I got this uh, cylinder head out and when you saw when I first started it was quite dirty here with some carbon deposits and oil stains and whatnot. Same down in here where the spark plug and the valve uh, covers are. Uh, so I had to scrape a little bit of that away because that was carbon build up on there and it still needs more scraping. I really only spent a lot of time on this half of the, the head. And if you can see the difference between this surface and this surface, it did do a good job cleaning. So I'm going to have to give this WD-40 cleaner here, I'm going to have to give it 
not two thumbs up, but maybe one thumb up, right? I'm going to say maybe six out of ten. Uh, I would like it to be uh, to dissolve better, but after all, it's not a solvent, so I guess it's not not going to do that. The buildup that's left in here in these openings here above where the valves sit, uh, that's carbon buildup. So I'm going to have to scrape that with a little scraper of some sort. Maybe even get a Dremel tool out with a little uh, brush on the end of it to try to brush that off and get it clean. But I'm going to say for the most part, I like what that spray nine's doing. So uh, although you have to use it with concentrated, you can't dilute it. I think it's going to be good. Uh, I don't see any kind of film residue left behind in that. So that's good. I mean, it's not like this part came from the factory just yesterday, but it's definitely... Uh, you know, clean and assembly ready. All right, so as you can see, uh, I've got lots of parts here that I need to wash up. So that's going to be consuming my time for the next couple of days at least, is cleaning all these parts as good as I can get them cleaned. So there's no sense, I don't think, filming that because I don't think many people are real interested in seeing parts get washed. But I wanted to just do that little uh, demo and review maybe of the WD-40 degreaser cleaner. I think it's pretty good stuff. You know, we're going to have a go at cleaning all this. And it won't be like factory clean, but it'll be clean enough to assemble, I hope. So this little project on the Briggs & Stratton, I always wanted to do that, eh? Strip an engine down, uh, see what all the parts are, what they do, how they work, things on, things like that. And then uh, put it back together and make it go. That's, that's going to be the key. But I started this project too because I wanted a project, you know, to do over the winter. So this is not all going to be done up, you know, like in a day or two. So I'm going to have several versions of this little snippets here and there of, of uh, well, cleaning. That's what I was doing now. And it'll take me two or three days probably of steady cleaning to get all these parts cleaned up the way I want them. So I don't know that there'll be other videos about that because cleaning is not really exciting. Uh, but, you know, as the winter goes through, there'll be videos come up with with uh, progress on rebuilding this engine. So please stay tuned and watch for that. Uh, also, if you have some ideas about cleaning parts, uh, I'd, I'd like to hear about those, so leave me some comments down below. Uh, let me know too what you think of this WD-40 degreaser cleaner. I think it's going to be not too bad. Uh, I think it's better than the Spray 9, but then again my Spray 9 was diluted, so maybe if I use Spray 9 like without diluting it, it might work as good as the WD-40. But anyway, let me know what you think. And uh, also, don't forget, thumbs up me. And if you're new to the channel, so I'm glad you dropped by. Thanks a lot. Hope to see you again. And if you're regular viewers, <laughs> it's amazing all the support you give me. And all I can do is say thank you, but I'd like to do more. But I don't know what that is, so thanks. And uh, stay safe, stay healthy. Don't forget, we can't let our guard down for COVID. Man, it's coming back in a vicious way, isn't it? It's everywhere now. Worse, worse, worse than ever. So stay vigilant and stay safe and we'll talk to you soon.